All right, everybody, welcome back to another Itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have A Museum of Self by Jack Hart and his uh, gaming studio, Cyberpunk, which he pilots himself. Uh, it's supposed to be a sad walking simulator type of game that is supposed to, I guess, give you some relatability into sad things that happen to people and how they deal with them, I'm assuming, or how he deals with them himself. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will also leave a link in to the game if you want to support the creator as well and try out the game yourself. Alrighty. We have no music. There is no music. Museum of Self. Can I go back this way? Oh, the red hallway. See ya. Oh, am I actually gone? Oh, you are. Oh, I broke it. Oh, I left the game. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay. You got me. You win this round, Jack Hart. It's a Rubik's Cube. Who are you? How are you today? How am I? Is today a good day? Better than yesterday. Are you being honest with yourself? Yeah. Do you know yourself? Uh, uh, that one's good enough. Are you confident in your actions? Always. Oh, none of these are good answer choices for me. Are you confident in your actions? Eh. How do you feel when you look in the mirror? I would rather avoid the mirror altogether. I look right past myself. Like I'm staring at a stranger. Who am I? I don't know who I am. Uh oh. I assume at some point I did. That at some point years ago I knew who I was and what I was doing. But I don't anymore. And I assume that person doesn't exist anymore. And so I hope through my creations and explorations of who I am that I will figure that out, that I will solve it, that I will wake up one day and get out of bed and, and everything will be good and I will be confident and I will be proud. But that's uh, it's not today. And it's not tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Better bet your do bottom dollar that tomorrow it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it does feel like that sometimes. Yeah, relatable. I don't think I'm that sad at the moment, but I've had days where I just don't feel like getting out of bed. I've had a lot of days where I don't want to get out of bed. One, because bed is nice. How often do you doubt yourself? Hmm. All the freaking time. I always have to ask somebody if I'm doing something right. Yes. Oh, that's rude. I wouldn't do that to you. Why are you embarrassed of your creative work? Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, what's the, I, I don't want to pick a lying answer. It'll never be as good. Well, that's true. Well, I'm not going to say never. You never know. Everyone knows it's bad, but they won't tell me. Ah, well, this is probably the most true answer because it kind of is bad. It, it has a lot of room for improvement, of course. Have you always been like this? Uh, yeah, I, until I get like really good at something, I feel like my I kind of suck at it. Do you think you're good enough? Hmm. Yeah, for my, I think I'm fine. I've had times where I'd say no, but I would probably say, yeah, I'm good enough to get by. Can you be happier? Uh, I don't think any of these are good. Can you be happier? Mm. I would like to say yes. <laughs> Why is yes not an option? There should be at least a yes option, so I can 
Uh, I don't want to pick the rude one. This is false, so I'll just click this one. Who I am is so completely tied up into what I make. It is this gross, tangled web, and I can't tell the difference anymore between the two. And I want to make things. I want to make art that is honest and raw and real. These videos but it are makes different. Me feel like a selfish fraud. Like I don't deserve to be here. And I mean, for fuck's sake, this game is literally about me making games about me. And what the fuck is wrong with me? That I think that anyone would get anything from that, other than realizing how much, how big of a selfish prick I am. So, like when I was playing When the Darkness Comes, it's actually, I think people like to watch games and creations like this because they're relatable, because everybody has these feelings, maybe not to the extreme that this, like, Jack Hart's feeling, obviously, because at, even at the end of the day, I'm like, eh, it can get better, but I, obviously, we probably have different situations where he probably has a little harder than I do, but, I mean, the sun will come out tomorrow, but he did a pretty baller-ass game, though. I really like the graphics in the game. I wish there was happy choices, though, but I guess it's more of a game about himself, like he said, so he doesn't feel like there is any happy. Why are you playing this game? <laughs> the person who made it is... Oh, I thought I was saying there was a person right behind me. I was like, I, that always makes me... That makes me nervous and anxious every time I was playing the survey thing, and it scared me. Uh person who made is standing right behind me well I mean I guess he is that's good enough it's because I wanted to see what it was about is this game bad no ha ah, why are you setting me up for failure Jack Hart <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna hit the cuss word one it's not bad bro I like there's upsides to this game there are people that feel this way you are not alone in this feeling. I thought that was something really strange looking for a bit there. We'll just say yes. Isn't the person who made this a hack? No. He hasn't hacked anything of mine yet that I know of. Is the person who made this pathetic? We're really doing this, huh? <laughs> Why are you making people insult you? Why are you making people choose options to make you feel bad? <laughs> Who would waste their time making this? Ah, uh, uh, this one's definitely not true. Huh, he might be misunderstood. That might... Sometimes when I'm at my most me, I tell people oh, that the I exit lit up. for myself. And like this defiant attitude of a person who doesn't care what anyone else thinks. Sometimes it's true, other days it's not, and when it is true, it's because I'm my own worst critic. And on one hand, that self-criticizing mm. is the thing that often feels me leaving like a husk, but it is also the part of me that makes my art good, and without it, I'm not sure who I would be. Yeah, that's solid. I mean... Yeah, sometimes you can be so criti self-criticizing, it makes you hard to even put anything out. But I'm glad that you still managed to put out things. And have, it takes a lot of courage to put your face up there and make videos and everything like that. And then self-deprecate yourself by making people insult you by picking answer choices that only have one real answer. <laughs> but, uh, what is this? Looks like somebody's about to karate chop the shit out of that man. <laughs> what did he do? Why are you going to karate chop him, man? Okay. Oh, well. let's go to the exit. Oh, I went outside the stage. I I goofed. I will. Oh no, I fell. Is the exit sign still up here? I guess that's it. All right, guys. Well, if you want to say some kind words to our friend Jack Hart, I'll leave a game link a link to the game in the description. And I thought this was really cool. I feel like 
it'd be nice if there was more options and maybe like a more in-depth story but i really like the graphics in it and i i mean it it's okay that you make a game about yourself it's always good when you can make there will always be somebody that can relate to how you're feeling almost it's there's so many people in the world it's really hard to have like an individualized kind of emotion that somebody can't relate to i it, some people are just going through hard times in their life and it makes it more relatable to them and some people just need to listen to somebody else have those problems so they can just relate and feel better that <laughs> they're not the only one um but yeah thanks for watching as always guys and um uh, ah! it was a good game though i liked it i uh i didn't like the fact that i only had so many choices but yeah